Okay, it's go time, people. It's uh, season two, episode two of Cooking with Liz. You know I have the roast chicken challenge this season, having really just crushed the moussaka challenge, which I gave myself. Anyway, so here I am at the roast chicken. I've got the chicken right here. I've done a little bit of the prep already. As I, as I told you in episode one of season two, the important thing is to read the recipe fully through. So, so I'm on top of that. So now what Ina says, this is, I promised you my hands have been sanitized. Okay. So please no more, no more messages about the sanitizing while I'm live. Um, so Ina says the thing now is to, uh, I already patted it dry. So now we've got, hold on, I'm going to tip this down a little bit so you can see this. Okay, we got the, she said, you put lots of salt and pepper inside the cavity. That's what I'm doing here. Oh, 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 oh. I even put the salt and pepper in the little dishes like they do on TV. Okay, so we, we got that going on. Then we put in, um, oh, then, then we put it with the lemon. So hang on, hang on. So I'm doing this part live because I wanted you to know that I actually did all the food prep. So I'm quartering a lemon. Uh, here we go, quartering this. Now, she said you stuff this inside the cavity. So that's what's happening now. Oh wait, this is the, <laughs> this is the end with the cavity. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, we put that in there. Um, then we put in mm, fresh thyme. Again, had to look this up to make sure I knew what, uh, what I was getting here. So she said you stuff a whole bunch of this inside the cavity and then i already chopped up all of the garlic and you stuff all of this inside the cavity okay so that's all going in there um i hope you can see some of that because i know your messages are going up over it okay so that all goes in there then oh the trussing so i don't know leon said this was really the ultimate test so let's just see how this goes can you see, let me tip this down a little bit more. So this is just to hold everything in there, right? So I may not have Ina's moves here. I'm just gonna do this. I'm just hang. <laughs> this is harder than it looks. Okay, I'm just gonna wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap and tie a little bow here. And I think that will do that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Maybe I'm supposed to tuck that in. But that looks, I don't know, can you see that? That looks pretty, t that's as trust as it's gonna get people. And by the way, I could not, of course I did not have any of this string at home and there was none of it for sale in the store. So I just went to the butcher, I said, could you give me this much string, you must have it back there. And of course he was very nice, so he did. Okay, so we got that. Now I'm supposed to uh, cover it with the butter. Okay, already, already got this melted. Um, I'm supposed to have a fancy brush. Of course I do not own that, but uh, I found this little barbecue brush, which is, as you can see, <laughs> just bought this today. So I'm just gonna do this, you know, this is, uh, we put this all over the chicken. This is, I guess, what makes it brown and crispy. And, uh, okay, we're doing this. I know this is hard to do live. See, when, when Ina does it, she's got producers and she's got multiple cameras and they're cutting away. I don't know. Maybe, but maybe live is overly ambitious for me, the cooking and the live at the same time. Okay, so I'm gonna, let's just, let's just call this done. I might have to repair a little after I'm no longer live. So we'll call that done. And then she says, it's all about the, um, more salt, so we're, we're going more salt here. Uh, more pepper. Ooh, okay. Then what's gonna happen next? So I wanted to show you, I did quarter the fennel as instructed. That goes in the base of the pan here. I'm not gonna do that while we're live because that takes too long. Because then I also have to get the onions out, quarter those, and then the carrots. Now, she has you chopping up carrots. I see no reason to like buy adult carrots and then chop them up so that they are smaller. So I just bought the baby carrots and I'm throwing them in, in that way. Then what else is happening here? Okay, let's, let's see. I, I wrote some notes for myself. Salt and pepper inside, garlic and lemon inside, got it. Butter outside, more salt and pepper, yeah. String, yes, veggies next. Okay, so, um, 
So now we're getting to the wrap up. I'm going to put it in the oven. But first, I did have a couple of credits for this week's episode, for season two, episode two, uh, because I haven't done any credits in previous episodes. So Laura gets a credit because she gave me the, the tip to dry the chicken out uncovered in the fridge the night before. And Leon weighed in and said I was allowed to do that. So thank you, Laura. And then Margaret, Christy, Patty, and Bonnie all told me, and maybe more too, that was as many as I wrote down, um, said the instant read thermometer. So that is, uh, yeah, got one of these, as you can see, also brand new. Um, several of you have noted that this might be the world's most expensive uh, roast chicken ever, considering what I've invested. I guess the theory is you're going to make it more than once. I don't know. We'll see about that. But um, so far, so good. So this is uh, this is as far as we're going to get right now live. I'm going to cook it, and then there will be then season two, episode three will come out. I probably won't do that live. I might just record that, and you'll get that when you get that. But um, I think. I think that was everything I needed to share with you. Yeah. Okay. Do I have any questions here that I need to answer? My husband says, who's that? <laughs> Thank you, Sandy. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm just glad people are watching. Um, yeah. Yeah. Betsy hot on the investment. No kidding. But um, anyway, so it's all about the learning, right? Season one, I learned certain things. Season two, I'm already learning. And uh, you'll get to see the finale of, uh, of season two tomorrow. Uh, when I show you the actual result of the roast chicken. So um, hope you <laughs> hope you've enjoyed this. You're right, Doris, but my chicken will be well my kitchen will be well stocked from now on. Yeah, yeah, which is a good thing as long as you ever use any of it again. So that's why I'm glad I only got that much string because I'm never doing that again, really. I mean, I think that's unlikely. Uh, but okay, so enjoy your Saturday night. You know what I'm going to be doing Saturday night here, and you'll hear all about it. So, um, so see you soon. Bye.